Hello everyone, Heinlein here. In this video I will show you how to use the UPK23 gun pods in the MiG-21. The UPK gun pods were designed in the mid 70s, uh, initially designed to provide more firepower for the MI-24 Hind, as well as the MI-8 uh, transport helicopter. But it could also be fitted on uh, fixed wing aircrafts, uh, just like the uh, MiG-21. The UPK-23 gun pods uh, are twin-mounted uh, 23mm autocannons and they are very useful against uh, soft targets uh, like uh, infantry or lightly armored vehicles. So uh, for example against uh, supply columns they can be very very useful. The gun pods can be carried at number 2 and uh, number 4 station, that is the inner pylons. So let's uh, load it up and uh, get into the air. So now we have loaded it up with uh, two gun pods. And inside the cockpit you can see that we now have a new panel above the HUD right here. I'm going to show you how to uh, configure it once we get in the air. And another thing uh, before we get airborne is that uh, these gun pods can be used against air targets as well, but I don't really recommend it because they are really, really draggy and uh, you will lose a lot of airspeed because of uh, them. And uh, Airspeed is uh, one of the few advantages the MiG-21 has, so I do not recommend uh, carrying gun pods in air-to-air -air mode, unless you are planning on ju only engaging bombers with, uh, without any escort whatsoever. So, now we are in the air and along the highway here we have uh, a column of uh, vehicles that we are going to attack. Here you can see them. So, let's set up our aircraft. The first thing you need to do is to set the uh, mode to switch to air to ground. This one to neutral. You can ignore it, but I prefer to have it in neutral. And the uh, weapon selector switch you can ignore. And uh, when it comes to the um, sight, you set it to ground. Uh, I mean gun. And this one to shooting. And this one to auto. And this one to missile. All these four switches are going to point upwards, simply put. Next up, you need to set up your radar to lock beam or air to ground mode, as I like to call it, and switch the radar on. And also remember that the radar needs uh, three to five minutes to warm up, so uh, make sure you have it warmed up uh, when, you re in, when you reach the target area. And the last thing you need to do is to uh, ready your uh, gun pods out on the wings. You need to put the power on, this one to UPK, and then you're going to push the arming switch, like so, the first one. And you see the r green light uh, on the status uh, uh, indicator comes on. The little bang you just heard is uh, simply uh, the pyromatic uh, arming mechanism that goes off and it arms the gun, just like in uh, the inboard uh, cannon on the aircraft. So, at this point we are ready to move in on the vehicle column. I like to uh, have an uh, initial uh, dive ang angle of uh, 20 to 30 degrees, and my initial airspeed of roughly 500 kilometers an hour, and an altitude of uh, above 2000 meters. Right now we are almost... Uh, 3000 meters so we're good and just like with your rockets you will see your pipper come up from the bottom and move into the site and when uh, you are within range the launch authority light will come, uh, come off and uh, when you get uh, too close to the ground the breakaway light will also shine. The best distance of firing the cannons is uh, 600 meters so roughly here. So let's unpause and uh, Look for the vehicle column. Okay, I see it. Need to get our speed off, we are really slow right now. Okay, there they are. Okay. 
And let's roll in. Throttle to idle. And there you see the paper comes up. Oh, we're taking fire. Let's just pause. Right now, you see our distance is almost 600 meters, and I'm a little bit off, so uh, let's see if we're able to uh, hit anything. And break away because of the heavy fire we took. Seems like we hit something. And as you can see, we actually managed to uh, get at least two vehicles. So that's actually quite good. Turn the radar off while we are lining up for another attack run. So, now we're at the correct altitude and uh, we are moving in for another attack, so radar on. And I think I will go for uh, the targets on the left hand side of the road. Throttle to idle and roll in. In range. Okay, now we're out of ammo. So, as you can see, uh, the gun pods do, do not carry uh, much ammunition. As I said, roughly 4 seconds of uh, f uh, fire, so uh, use your ammo uh, conservatively. And uh, once you are done with them, you can uh, jetson them by pressing this button. So. And they are gone. So, I hope this video was helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching.